What is acid? If you are watching this video, you probably already know that. In chemistry, an acid is a molecule or ion that can accept electron pairs or donate hydrogen ions. Now, there are strong mineral acids and weak organic acids. But there is another type of acid that most of us don't know about. They are called superacids, acids that do not belong in this common classification. But before going there, we have to know how the strength of acids is measured. The most common unit for the strength of an acid is its pH value. The pH is measured by calculating the negative logarithmic value of the hydrogen ion concentration in an aqueous solution. The negative sign here means that the pH and strength are opposite to each other. And for each unit of pH that decreases, the strength of the acid increases 10 times. The pH can have a value ranging from 0 to 14, which is called the pH scale. The pH value 7 means a neutral solution and above 7, the solution is alkaline. But the problem is, pH does not only depend on the strength of the acid, but also the amount of acid you add. And this is not the only problem. The pH system simply doesn't work well in the negative region. Also, water acts as an interference. As a result, when comparing strong acids or superacids, we cannot use pH or anything that involves mixing acids into water. So what do we do now? This was answered by Louis Plack Hammond. He proposed the use of an acidity function that omits the water part from the equation. The acidity function is called the Hammond acidity function. It is denoted by H0. H0 is analogous to pH, and it is as if the pH scale has been extended to the negative direction. Finally, the problem of units was solved. And now, we can discuss superacid. Pure sulfuric acid is the strongest acid found in nature. But this is just the beginning for superacids. Any acid that is stronger than pure sulfuric acid is called a superacid. The H0 value of pure sulfuric acid is minus 12. So, any acid with a lower H0 value is a superacid. George Olafurst prepared a superacid called the magic acid. He won the Nobel Prize in 1994 for his works in carbocations. It is now used to produce higher quality gasoline from crude fuels. The name, magic acid came up when chemists placed a paraffin candle in a sample of magic acid after a Christmas party, and it was dissolved instantly. Let's look at a few examples of superacids and how dangerous they are. After all, that is what we all are after. Triflic acid is a superacid with an H0 value of minus 14.9, which means that it is a thousand times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. It has strong protonating power and is used as a catalyst in many organic reactions where hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid does not work. If it touches the skin, it will give immediate burn to the skin and even damage tissues underneath. If inhaled, it causes fatal spasms. Even so, it doesn't belong in the top row. Magic acid is a one-to-one -one mixture of fluorosulfuric acid and antimony pentafluoride. It has an H0 value of minus 19.2 to minus 23 depending on the ratio of components, meaning it is 100 million times stronger than triflic acid and 100 billion times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. When comes in contact with the body, it will cause serious injury if not death. It is so reactive that it is kept under nitrogen which creates an inert surrounding. Still, it is not the strongest acid on Earth. That position goes to fluoroantimonic acid. This is the strongest and most reactive acid known to man to this day. It is prepared by combining hydrogen fluoride with antimony pentafluoride. The resulting acid is a monster with an H0 value of minus 28. That's 10,000 times stronger than even the magic acid, and 10 million billion times stronger than pure sulfuric acid. It will not just burn you, it will eat through skin, flesh, and bones everything. No matter what container you put it in, you will melt that and keep marching ahead, except the container is made out of Teflon. And so, it is used to produce the container for fluoroantimonic acid, the very material used in your frying pan. If you want to thank me for delivering this good news, then please subscribe to our channel. So, why Teflon? Teflon is a polymer of tetrafluoroethylene molecules that contains strong carbon fluorine bonds and will not lose to even the strongest of acids. If you ever come across any superacid, it is probably best to stay away. It is uncertain if humans will produce an even stronger acid. Until then, we have frying pans. Sorry, Teflon. That's it for today. Have a nice day.